Greetings, huntsmen and huntresses. Welcome back to Ruby JPDE. Okay, guys, finally time for the dance. So let's go and see what Blake is wearing for this dance. Hopefully, it's not better than the cannon, because in my opinion, everyone's dress has been so lovely compared to the cannon. So let's see how this one turns out. Okay, here goes. Ah, the infamous bunk beds. And. Wow. I gotta admit. The golden bow really brings out her eyes a lot more. It's a lot more exotic. She looks absolutely beautiful. She kind of looks like a Bond girl. You know, the one that's basically that Bond meets at a party or at a bar and he's, you know, sweet talks her. Next thing you know, one thing leads to another. That is beautiful. Yes, it is. I have to ask, though. Where did it come from? I swear I never saw you come back with anything that expensive. I've never seen that jewellery either. You're right. I haven't bought any of this. This all came in a package in the mail. Someone sent you all this? Who? Someone who loves me and somehow managed to track me down despite my best efforts. Oh god, that is so creepy. I really hope it's Callie and not Adam. Only one way to find out. Someone from the Fang? Former Fang. She's not dangerous, if that's what you're thinking. It's just someone I've never had the courage to face. Oh, thank God, it's only Callie. Well, Blake, you have nothing to worry about. Your mother loves you. Any decent parents would still love their, their child, despite what you said to them. In my opinion, yeah. Callie and... Get Oh, I can't even say her father's name. Gerara? Gehara? He, they're decent parents. They're a lot better than everyone else's. I mean, granted, we haven't not seen that much of Ty, but let's be honest, he was a bit of a mess at the start, and it wasn't fun when he made fun of, you know, uh, Yang's l loft sidedness let's put it that way, and Jacques is, is honestly a piece of crap, and Willow is depressive. Depressing and Raven. Don't give me give me stars on her. Did it come with a letter you haven't had the courage to open yet? How did you call it instinct? Also, I know you. I know it's only been a year, Blake, but I think I I have a handle on how you deal with with guilt by now. And they know too, since instead of just showing up here, they sent a letter and a gift. So, here's what we're going to do. You're going to forget all about that, them, the fang, and everything else for tonight. Only focus on having fun. There's going to be plenty of... Majorana. Half of the catering is fish-based, and you have one hot date. <laughs> fish-based? Yep. So you should probably carry some... Mint, in case you exaggerate. Afterwards, and only afterwards, you should read the letter because I'm sure at the point you'll feel thankful enough for your gifts to indulge their desire of reconnection. Hmm. Yang, you know, when I came to Beacon, it was, ju was just to run away. Yeah, I kind of figured, Ninja Kitty. Shush, anyway... I'm trying to say something here. The only thing that was on my mind was survival. A new start in life that consisted of a place the Fang couldn't reach. I mean, I could do, do a penance for my actions by becoming a huntress. I never thought of friends who loved me, a partner I can trust, a lover who accepts me, darkness and all. I didn't think I deserved it. It still happened though. It did. And I blame you, Weiss, and Weiss, and Ruby. You sure you, you want to do that? I'm not the one who's gonna... I'm not the one who put us all in the same team. You didn't need to go through the lengths you want, you went to, Yang. And I don't mean the I don't mean the help with investigating the Fang. I mean, being my friend. Ruby tried to befriend me from day one. You shared something deeply personal with me to give me perspective. Weiss was, was open-minded and pushed me out of my self-imposed shell. <laughs> the things 
the thing with the chair? Wish I could have had. Wish I could have recorded it. Point being, silly is that the Blake who arrived in Beacon would have never started a conversation over smuts with a stranger. I guess I'm. I guess all I'm say, trying to say is thank you for being my. Thank you for being my friend, all of you. <laughs> You're welcome. Ah, uh, here we are. I'm here, the man of the hour. Speaking of strangers, go go knock him dead. <laughs> oh -hoo. Hi. Hi. You... I mean... Wow. Those are for you? You look amazing. Thanks. So do you. <laughs> well then. Shall we, my lady? Okay, I'm going to take your picture to memorize the moment. Then you better stop it. Stop it with the third impression, or I'm going to get the, the spray bottle. <laughs> oh, this is so wholesome, and I love it. That was an interesting way of picking a fight. And the worst thing is that we had to finish having an emotional moment. We had just finished having an emotional moment. I swear. If she tried to go five minutes while quipping or joking, she would implode. Hmm. Well, I don't feel like she d does it randomly. We were staring at each other's eyes a, li a lot. And how is that a bad thing? That in, that in of itself isn't. But we were kind of standing in the doorway. Anyway, you you look really amazing. I thought the outfit brings out your eyes. You really know how to put stuff together, huh? Actually, I... did not. Excuse me? I didn't pick this outfit. I didn't even buy it, truth tell. I'm not exactly an expert. The life I led before didn't exactly leave a lot of opportunity for experimenting with fashion. And I didn't have Evelyn's talent for tailoring. I see. So did Weiss help you out? I mean, did Weiss help you out? Yang? Hmm. Neither of them. My mother sent me the, the outfit in a package. <clears throat> Kelly? Your mother sent you... We haven't talked in years. Way before I ever left the white the Fang, and once I did, I never tried to contact her or my dad to let them know that I was okay. Somehow she found me. They've been looking for me, and once they discovered where I am, what am I... And what I'm doing, her first thought was... Was... To make sure you had an outfit for the dance, that you could enjoy yourself. They should have forgotten they ever had a daughter. I spat on their beliefs. I did so many bad things, caused them in incredible grief. And yet... Do we need to go back and reapply your makeup? Silly, you and her both. Maybe both you and Yang have developed an instinct on where to introvert. To intervene before you go sparring down again, Bleak. I'm not saying you're not allowed to feel bad for yourself. I figure that you, you have a, a lifetime of missed of mis self-reflection to make up for. But swinging from one extreme to another is probably not going to help anyone. Not yourself, nor anyone who loves you. I think that if you want to actually do the right by people, the first step is creating a new Blake. A new me? The mistakes and that darkness you've been pushing onto others are part of you. But so are your morals, your principles, your taste in literature, your affection, and your dislikes. It's going to be a work in progress for a long time, of course, but the first step is to accept everything about yourself, the good and the bad. Brothers know if it was going to be a struggle, but I think it's the only way forward, and I can't wait to see what, you, what you'll become. <laughs> and I can't wait to show you. Speaking of which... How confident do you feel now? Uh, not that much, I have to admit. Especially since... Oh, it's not good. Dunno. Evelyn, I doubt Blake intended for any of it to happen. 
I know, I know. But still, she was a, she was on probation, and that happened, and now you want to bring her to the dance? Yes. I think it would do her a load of good. I don't want our relationship, whatever it may be, to become... Whatever it may become, to be overshadowed by some, something related to her past. Uh, that's totally fair, but still, I don't know. Come on, it's not like I'm going to be extru extru exclusively hang out with her. We're going to have the introductory dance, some Majorina, but... Wait, 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 Majorina? Did you see Majorina? Um, yes. Blake said that the only kind of dancing she knows, and she would ask Yang to put it, put in the music on, put the music wrote, <clears throat> sorry, Yang to put it on the music rotation, and you accept it? I shouldn't have. <laughs> oh, you're going to dance with Blake? <laughs> um. Thanks. Oh, brothers, I need a minute. He doesn't even... Even... <laughs> what the hell is even going on here? Kenshi, did you research... Did you research the Macarena? Majorena? At all before or after accepting the proposal? No, so... Am I gonna dance or burn coals or something? Maybe metaphorically. Let me show you. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a... a oh. Is it... Is it the very... Is the kind of dancing I'm thinking of? You know, like the... Like, um... You know, very close dancing. Like... Oh, what's it called? The Macarena. Oh. You, you know, the actual dancing, not the song. You know, hey, Macarena. No, the other... You know, like the very close... Slightly, you know... Uh, sexual... Dancing, that's what I'm thinking of, but I could be wrong. She explained that though She explained that videos those videos were very professionally ex ex Exhibitions and the like but I don't I don't know if the little practice we had will be enough It will be enough for the both of us to have fun. I'm not going to, to that dance floor to RP with my skill. I Just want to share one of my favorite pastimes with you Ah, <laughs> oh, so sweet and wholesome. Ah, uh, what can, I, what can I even say to that? Want to get in one last bit of prac, one last bit of practice? Yes. Yeah, I think I'd like that. One last review before the dance. All right, come this way then. Here goes. I really hope I don't have to, you know, do some kind of. Like, rhythm thing. Uh-oh. Tap the icons before they disappear. Uh, are you ready to dance? Uh, yes. Okay, here goes, guys. I'm actually having to use a mouse on my on my laptop, so this is going to be difficult. Okay, here goes. Come on. Where is it? Where is it? Oop. Oop. Uh, come on, come on. Where's the next one? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Oop. Uh, come on. Where's the next one? There. It's unexpected. I was not expecting this kind of uh, thing to happen. Oop. Phew, I'm doing quite well so far. It's gonna get faster, I can feel it. Whoop. Whoop, so, told ya. Whoop. Whoop. Okay, I'm doing well. Uh, at least it's not like dance, you know, Persona 4 dancing all night. I'm not very good at rhythm games, although I did enjoy that game immensely. Uh, oh, again? Uh, uh, you know what? Yeah, one more time. Okay, here goes. Uh, whoop. Okay, we're just gonna get into the rhythm of things, because I feel like we're gonna have to do this again when the actual dancing comes up. It's gonna be a bit more difficult, though I can feel it. All right, uh, <clears throat> where's the, ah, there. Where's the next one? Ah, there. Okay, come on, where's the next one? Whoop, whew. Oh, whoop. Whoop, whoop. 
All right, come on. Where's the next one? Oop, that, that. Is it getting more difficult, or is that just me? I think I'm doing all right, actually. I'm not missing any of them, but I really shouldn't jinx this. Again? No, I think I got it this time. Okay, okay, I think I got it. Thanks, Blake. I feel a bit more, a little bit more confident now. You're welcome. We should probably go now. Indeed, we don't want to be late for the grand entrance. The grand entrance? What you mean? Huh? You, you know the thing Yang organized to reflect on an old de de debut top ball. Debut top ball. I haven't, I haven't really asked her about the schedule and the organization. What is it we're going to do? Um, the way she explained it. Yeah, we basically get, as we get called out, we basically walk down as a couple. It's very sweet. I'm going to kill her. Well, good luck with that. Well, I didn't expect all these people. I mean, it's not that many considering how many people there are in the first and second years, but still. Who would have thought that, we, that there were so many people using their invites? I see Penny, Evelyn, Jack, and their dates in the crowd and oh wow even Evelyn really went above and beyond with with our clothes didn't she all right everybody hope you're ready because it's time <sighs> yours will be yours will come later when you least expect it as long as you don't cut her hair oh please she would do that just to just to get back at her although if I want it, I could do that in the game, because after all, one of Yang's default clothing is actually her dressed up as, um, Ceres Victoria from Hels from Van Helsing. Which kind of makes sense if you've ever seen people who do the reaction multiverse stories, because sometimes they have, uh, Ceres Victoria as Ruby, or sometimes Yang, because it makes sense considering how she looks. And the whole red eyes thing works quite well. There's no positioning rules, just alt- Alternate one couple on one on the right flight, one couple on the left flight. Go at a steady pace, get to the floor, and bow for the audience. After that, it's done. Just remember to wait until your names are called, okay? Of course. Why take a chance that people may not at all be looking my way? Um, maybe the speaker will, will be really bad? I can sort of see the stage with music co console from here. I stretch my neck a bit, stretch my neck a little, and... What the... Ladies and gentlemen, students of the four academies, good evening. It's finally time to raise the curtains of this grand event, that is, the Vital Festival. Here goes. Oh, she's totally loving this, isn't she? As I'm sure you know, not everyone will be able to take part in the main event, the tournament. But that doesn't really mean we c we can't have fun with the rest of it. Starting with the dance tonight, it's all yours and yours only. So give give yourself a round of applause. Oh God, I'm shuddering. Just it's so convincing. If I didn't know any better, I would definitely uh, I would have definitely fallen for the act. And now for the opening act, a unique a an act an act unique to Vale for its ties to the long history of its halls. A history of royalty and Valisian high society. Grand events like the patriotic debut top ball. Now, now we kind of parted with the royalty a long time ago, but still, they'd like to introduce themselves. If only I, if only to tell you who's to steer clear of tonight. And coming down these stairs is officially off limits, boys and girls. <laughs> so. So watch the dress and face of the and memories of the names, because here they come. I'm about to throw up. Here we go. Good luck, everyone. Mm. You need, you'll need it more than me. Let's get this over with. But well, I can't, I can't, I can't now. Now that Blake convinced herself to go through with it and brave the spotlight. I don't even have to offer her my arm. She grabs it as I raise it, and sets her face in the unusual, in the usual expressionless visage that she chose to don more often than not. The people start moving towards 
to forward as Cinder calls names in couples, we advance slowly ourselves. Despite it, <clears throat> despite it, it avert this to the prospect of having an entire room on, of this size looking at her, she continues walking with confidence, barely making a sound. Next we have Penny Paladina and Titania Peach. Now that is a beautiful image. I love all the images we see in this game. They're adult, they're beautiful, beautifully made, and I love them. Well, Penny told me that, told me that Titania wanted to go down the stairs with Penny to impress. In a way, Titania is debut debut top, debute. I think it's debute, or it could be debut top. I could be wrong. Anyway, if they wanted people to att pay attention to her, mission accomplished. Damn that dress! Next couple might be the cutest duo on the list: Evelyn Demerot, e Evelyn Demerot, and Janara Peach. I don't know why I'm getting tongue-tied today, guys. I have no idea. Yep, they really are the cutest duo right now. <laughs> I'm fought because Janara is still, still more than makes up for the cuteness factor, but Evelyn, Evelyn is. Evelyn is Evelyn, and even in an Ellen design dress, I can see see how she could make Tysonia's dress so efficient. Next, my my so many ladies tonight: Jacqueline B. Ivory and Lisa Floristus. Floristus. It's a weird name. I'll be honest. I I've said this before, but am I the only thinks that Lisa looks exactly like a pretty boy from an anime? Seriously. If it wasn't for the, if it wasn't facts, I knew she was a woman. I'd, I'd swear she looks like a pretty boy. Partner, is that is that a plush I see? What the hell is happening over there? Well, I guess I guess I'll know a lot more about Jack's tastes. Jack's tastes now. Also, it seems like Miss Lavender gave a false name. Good idea, considering if I grip, if I grip on your arm as an instinct or hit someone, I apologize. Huh? Huh? It's, it's almost our turn. Blake is sigh, looking at her feet as we shuffle forward. You really don't like being in the center of attention, hmm? It goes against every instinct I have. Well, apology accepted. But I don't think I'll need it. Here goes. You're a brave man, Kenji. You're a brave man, Kenji Daikobius. Next couple, it is, next couple is Kenji Daikobasi. I mean, Daikobius and Blake Belladonna. She smiles, but for for a small moment, and then, whoa, that is a beautiful image. Oh, look, you can see her ears twitching so adorably behind her ribbon. That's adorable. What's with the red in my eyes? Oh, wow, she's really is uncomfortable. She's especially freaked out by people taking pictures of. As we go down, I don't blame them. She's she's just so beautiful, and well, I'm not half bad looking either tonight. Still, she had to to she had the option to refuse. He would have obviously understood, but she chose to go with it because she wanted to share this moment with me. <laughs> I do love the the ears twitching, though it's adorable. Too bad there's no uh, dancing CG from what I've seen. Uh, of course. Why didn't it occur to me that they that, that they would have taken they they would be pictures taken? Is that bad? No, it's fine. I mean, the fang already know I'm here, and so it's my parents. So there's no there's literally no one else left to learn that I'm in Beacon. Ah, I see. Wait, I see what you mean. Still, I bet it was uncomfortable, wasn't it? I could read it on your face. On your face. Yeah. Well, it's done now. Just relax. I'll grab us some food. Oh, you don't need to. Of course I do. First of all, you've been eyeing the buffet since you saw the since you saw them carry the stuff in. Second, the ball inspired the Va Vadistidian tradition, and from what I've heard, I'm supposed to be back. Be at your beck and call for tonight, ma'am. <laughs> Wholesome. Fine, but promise me you're also going to spend some time with your other friends, or they're going to, or it's going to be, 
Well, they're going to have my hide. I promise. Let's put this going to be fish. It's going to be fish. For me, take the rest of the offerings from you so we sh so we can share. As you wish, my lady. I'll be right back. Hmm. Here goes. This is fine. Right? Enjoy it, Blake. You deserve it. It's fine for me to be happy. It is, Blake. I promise you. Do you want to... Do you want to act? Do you actually want rhythm gameplay? Rhythm game gameplay. Uh, no, because I'm worried I might screw it up, and I don't want that. All right, what's going on here? Uh, you know what, guys? I'm gonna skip all this little dialogue here, and I'll cut you back in when it's finally time for the actual dancing part. So see you guys in a few minutes. Peace. Okay, guys, and we're back. You sure this time? Absolutely. At the hour... At the hour is the one Yang listed. Here we go. Time to see how the dancing goes. Granted, I'm not doing the actual dancing gameplay because I'm just scared I might screw it up, so... Yeah. Any... At any point now, we should hear the speaker say... Ladies and gentlemen, a special request as we bring a little more... Modern area into the otherwise classical event. I invite all the couples who know the Majorana to join us on the floor as the clock strikes 10. We will be entering the hottest part of the evening. Well, it's here, alright? Well, it's here, alright. You can, you can still pull it off if you... You can still pull out if you want. Screw that. I made a promise. We practice. I've been dancing with so many people. I'll never forget my. I'll never forgive myself if I didn't. If I didn't with you, with you other than during the entrance you hated. Glad to hear it. Come on, come on then. Let's do this. Let's dance the Majorana. All right, Kenzie. Don't think about. Don't think about this too much. You have tested this and you've danced with other people already. It's still just dancing. Here goes. More choreographed, paired with someone who's been dancing it for years. But it's cool. You're not here to excel. You're here to have fun with her. Well, here goes. Although... Hmm. Such a sweet smile. If I do well, I bet she'll be so happy. I can't remember the last time I've. I can't remember the last time I've, I've had so much fun. Glad to hear it. Majorina is not that scary once you get you get your first foot in. And um, it also helps when you realize that most of the people around you aren't as good as your your partner either. <laughs> Thanks. Although I'm cheating a bit. My mother was actually a very famous dancer, so it's in your blood. Something like that. Yes. Hmm. And speaking of my mother... That's the less you, you were referring to? Yes, it's from my mother. And I feel like I'm ready to open it now. Well, I'm here. I'm, I'm not going anywhere. Thank you. Here goes. Uh, Blake, what's wrong? She hasn't changed at all. Um, good news, I hope? I guess. Look. Hmm? That's the book from, from a... That's the booking for a hotel. Yes. And she wrote, Call me afterwards. Afterwards? After what? Let's put it this way, Kenshi. You're gonna get a lot of scratches on your back. Oh, um, I mean, uh... Come on, let's go. Blake, we... I mean, we don't need to... Are you saying you don't want... You don't want... You don't want me to meet my mother again? After almost four years? We... Uh, of course not! That's not what I'm saying! Good. Then, let's go. 
B bleak That's backwards logic. Bleak! Well, well, that was fun. Oh, oh, a message from Kenshi. Hmm, I see. I've warned Kenshi that we shouldn't be waiting for him to come come back tonight. Hmm, more privacy for the two of us then. Did he say why? Apparently, Blake's mother is in town. She booked a luxury room in a love hotel in Vale. So thoughtful. Uh, they know who her mother is, right? What's a love hotel? Uh, Janara will tell you when you're older. Hopefully when you're as old as the person you're based off of, so... Don't worry. Uh, um, um... <clears throat> Penny, you're a sweetheart, but don't you dare! It's a night of blondes then, I guess. Well, that was fun. Well guys, I'm gonna end the video here. Like us all, like, comment, and subscribe. It's Jeff, and I'm out of here. See ya!